All right, you guys, today we're taking a look how to make this grungy spray text effect here in After Effects. Let's create a new composition, rename it as text, go to the preset, select 1080p, and we're going to go to the width at plus 100, go to the height at plus 100. I'm going to go with 5 second black background, click OK. I'm going to drag and drop a grungy background, and then let's go and select the type tool, type in something, let's align it to the center. For the font, I went with the obviously semi bold. All right, so let's go and click somewhere here to unclick the text layer. And I'm going to go and select the circle. And I'm going to create a circle somewhere here on the text. I'm going to make another one here and another one here. And let's go to the shape layer. Here we got the ellipse 3, 2, and 1. We're going to open up the 3. Let's go to transform ellipse 3. Open it up. We're going to go to the position. Press and hold Alt. Click on the stopwatch at the position. And we're going to type in here wiggle 1.5. Let's close it. And I'm going to select it. Press Ctrl C. Click somewhere here. And it's going to wiggle it like this. Now I'm going to go to the scale. Press and hold Alt. Click on the stopwatch. Press Ctrl V. And above least, I'm going to go to the rotation as well. Press and hold Alt. Click on the stopwatch. Press Ctrl V. Click somewhere here. So it's going to look something like this. And I'm going to do the same thing with the ellipse 2 and 1. Open it up, transform ellipse 2, and just animate all of them. I'm going to copy paste the same expression. Let's scroll up, collapse the shape layer. I'm also going to rename it circles. So it looks something like this. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in solid composite, drag it to the circle layer. Let's go and change up the color to black. Click OK. Go to the effects and presets, type in fast box blur. Add it on the circle layer. I'm going to increase it to 80 and now we can go and uncheck the circle layer. Now let's go and select the text layer. We're going to go to the effects and presets, type in camera lens blur and drag and drop on the text layer. I'm going to increase the blur radius to 65 and as you can see the blur is going to be inside of this box. So let's go to the edge behavior and uncheck repeat edge pixels. Now we're going to go to the layer. I'm going to change it to circles, source, change it to effects and masks. Let's go to the Panther text. We're going to go to the blend mode and change it to dissolve. If you don't have the blend modes, you can click on the toggle switch. So it's going to disappear or appear right now. As you can see, the grain is too strong. So we're going to need to modify that. I'm going to right click here, new select adjustment layer, right click, rename blur. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in Gaussian blur, drag it on the blur layer. I'm going to add three, so it's going to soften it up a little bit more. I'm going to go and bring this blur comp on the top and I'm going to select the circle and press and hold shift select the text as well. Bring it down a little bit more somewhere here and I'm going to select the text layer. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in displacement map, drag it under the camera lens blur and let's go here, select the grungy texture and let's go and select the effects and masks. Now we're going to go to the max vertical and bring it up. And check this out. It is going to copy that grungy texture from the grungy background layer. So right now it looks something like this. I'm also going to select the grungy text, press Ctrl D to duplicate. I'm going to bring it above the text layer. And let's go to the blend mode, change it to screen. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in level. Drag it on the grungy text layer. And we're going to go to this handle and bring it on the right. Until you're going to increase the contrast and make it darker. Now we're going to go back to the project, right click, new comp, rename it as final comp. Let's go to the presets, select 1080p, click OK, drag and drop the text composition into the final comp composition. Press the letter P for position, press and hold Alt, click on the stopwatch, type in wiggle, 5, 10. Click somewhere here, let it wiggle. And I'm also going to add some grain, right click here, new adjustment layer, rename, grain, Go to the effects and presets, type in noise, double click here, and I'm going to increase it to 20 and uncheck use color noise. And this is how I make this grungy spray text effect here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.